Oh, you got some, uh, uh, what is it called? Clove. Clove. Careful one? Sure. I like clove. You do? You say this every single time and Johnny gives me one. I mean, it's not bad. It's more like a red hot than a, than a, like a spicy hot. You like red hots? I can eat some. So it's only certain things that well, are difficult for you to deal with. It depends on how um, hot. Damn, and you even just chewed it straight up and yeah, hot, it's not bothering you? No, not really. Hot and hot. spicy, like hot candies and spicy food are different to me because they that, affect a different part of the part mouth. Of my, I get it. Interesting. Um, what about a hot take? What about no. your hot mom? No, only cold takes. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And uh, you can follow us on... Uh, and... Uh, uh, for more. Well, it's the same. Uh, it's true. Pondu. <laughs> you can follow us on... Uh, and uh, for more. For more. For more. Bukwas! <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, I think it was... And Patreon. Yeah, it's one of the other one other day that it was one of the ones that I was really messing with the thing. <laughs> She's like, "This video is just a child messing with his buttons." That's true. That's true. Anyways, today we're doing a movie review, and we're doing a review of the new. It it's, it just comes it comes out tomorrow here. It might already be out by the time you're you're seeing this in India. Um, Malayalam film Atam, and which, we had exposure to this. Yes, exposure. Not viewership no, no, of no. it, but we've known about this for a while. Because we, it was at the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Actually, won the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles um, that uh, back then. And we, uh, didn't, we, we didn't get to stay for no, the no, screening. No, no, uh, we got a screener for it, which is how we're able to watch it because it's not coming to Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, um, no comment. But um, the uh, we got it via that way. That's how we're able to watch it. Um, it came with Berlin and. Um, Joram and, and those were all part and, of it. And, and this, um, it's the directed by um, Ananda Karshi and wrote that as well. Mm. Uh, it's a uh, Tom is the play, right? Is essentially what it means, right? Uh, and the cast is it's an ensemble. It's an ensemble. There's there's Vinia lots of people here. It's, it's seen difficult few, to call out yeah we've seen them a few places as well like uh, there's a lead actress because it's predominantly a theater group of of males with a female yeah Zirin, so Zarin uh, shihab is the main actress family, family man, man actually yeah um since it just came out we're gonna do non-spoiler review and then if we want to get into spoilers we're gonna get into some spoilers but we will tell you before we do that just because it's and this will be technically the first 2024 film Yes, of that year. is correct. Because this technically, even though it was at the film festival, it's a not. A, it's a theatrical release for 2024. So that is correct. Um, like, uh, I guess technically Berlin. Whenever that does get distributed, I know <laughs> that also is a 2024. <laughs> yeah. But that's weird because we watched it months ago. Uh, so it's in theaters right now. So if you want to go watch it there, go watch it and yeah. like your initial thoughts of Adam. We just are on a roll. Right now, mm -hmm. I I can't remember the last time Heck we of a had lineup at Indian Film Festival. Yeah, it really was, but for us, as far as the movies we've just watched in a row, yeah. I I can't recall a time in recent memory. It's been a while where we have just gone out of the park, out of the park, out of the park, out of the park. Mm. This one is a, another one that's just hit out of the park. Yeah, I I was telling and drawing. I said I've got four movies right now. Any one of them, I want you to watch because it's wonderful. Yeah. And this is one of them. Incredibly well written. Beautiful work by the ensemble. Believe every single minute of it. The, dra the dramaturgy of it, which is a terminology about the actual creation of storyline and plot and how it builds and how it works. This thing, the pacing on this builds and moves the way a story should. And it's a human interest story that I just thought was superlative, have no qualms at all. Different reasons as far as the winning mm -hmm. 
at the film festival because yeah. Berlin is equally yeah. worthy of recognition, but I have yeah. no qualms of this winning it. And we've got another candidate of a film that I think could easily be submitted for international film in, in, in any awards show. Yeah. I love this movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. It's a heck of a heck of a line. It makes me excited for next year's Indian Film Festival. Um, if, yeah, if, if this is the quality of yeah. film that is consistently getting submitted. And these are just the features. They, yeah. they also do shorts. Yeah. And they do documentaries that we didn't get to see any of them. Because um, it, it was... We it was very busy that week, and and it was uh, we all, we didn't actually get to see any films at the film festival. Sometimes while there were screenings, we were doing interviews. Yeah, so uh, so it was, it was the thing. But then they somebody at the festival told me that they actually do send out screeners to critics, and I was like, oh yeah, please do that. That would be wonderful. Uh, but then since these ones were smaller, I decided to wait on them to more when you guys would see them. And so because a, a lot of times, like when we release Berlin, people are like, oh, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> As opposed to after the trailer's released and people are excited. Yeah. That's why I did it. Anyways, but yeah, this film. So different than Joram and, and Berlin. Um, yeah. The, the play is, uh, and you, once you see it, you'll understand why it's called the play. But yeah. man, is it shot like a play. Like, yeah. <laughs> this really, I was thinking about that, especially in the last act. Yeah. I thought, man, I this would be as gripping. And this is going to be an old reference. But for those of you who know the play. The gripping nature of 12 Angry Men yeah, when it's yeah. done appropriately. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or Inherit the Wind. Those happen to be courtroom dramas, but it's the it's that the any play that has one location and it's dialogue driven with multiple characters, that's the kind of thing this is. And it's just and it's shot that way. It makes you feel like the editing was so good in some spots, it really makes you feel like you're not watching editing. It makes it makes you feel like your head turning and looking at people in the room. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it, he said one location. It's not. This is not one location. No, no, no. It could be locations. done that way. Absolutely, it could be done I just that want way. To confirm for everybody. Um, the uh, it, it, it. I can't give any spoilers right now. Yeah. Um, but the the story, um, without giving anything away, is very intriguing because it's almost like a knives out who done it on a much smaller scale in terms of. Um, production obviously and 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 i guess stakes and, yeah and even the stakes the yeah. stakes are different but they're no less important yeah, yeah absolutely yeah but it's 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 like a who done it just on a, a small malayalam scale um but it's very malayalam in terms of if you don't like dialogue driven films you're going to hate this film yeah because that's what this film is that's and why it, that's why this film is is as good as it is and if you don't like films that give you the feeling at first that like nothing's really going on. Yeah. Yeah. And then you realize there was a lot going on and you should have been paying closer attention. Yeah. 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 You can miss stuff. You can miss stuff uh, easily. Especially in with uh, my, I, I said it well, to my wife when I was watching, I was like, I never, I love the Malayalam language cause it, it sounds beautiful, but it, I've never s heard a language that sounds so much like gibberish to my ears. Hmm. It's just, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As Hindi. I, I feel like it's slower. In, in comparison to a lot of other of the languages. And I don't know if this has happened to you at this point, but it's happening to me now because we watch so many different languages. There are times now where I'm watching a film and I'm 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 I can't I can't remember. Is that a Malayalam word or is that a Tamil word yeah. or is that a Telugu exactly. word? Exactly. I'm I'm still I get them yeah. mixed. Sometimes I even don't even know if it's Hindi. So yeah. So obviously all the it's Mali Alam, So all the performances are good and they're all believable. Yes. Um. They all do a really, really, really good job. It's hard to pick out one standout because I think they all did a very, very this good job. This is ensemble work. Yeah. If this was a if this was a U.S. film, it would be nominated for SAG Ensemble. Well, maybe. Oh yeah. The nominating committee's smoking crack these days. I don't know <laughs> what's been going on with their selection sometimes. Um, uh, but in terms of just, uh, I think most Molly Allen films would usually. Yeah, because you would hope they're they're just. I like that post. Poor too. Things wasn't nominated for ensemble. I haven't seen it yet, but that sounds. Yeah, crazy. that'll that'll boggle your mind. Um, the poster's cool. I, I just saw it. Um, because this film, it talks about so much, but you have to you have to listen. Obviously, there's a surface level thing that you can understand if you just don't think anything else into it. But there's so much more going on in this film in terms of what he's trying to say mm -hmm. about people, about greed, about um, believing people, about lying, about 
about truth, about truth, about facts, yeah, There's... about judging people, and done. It's so well written. Mm -hmm. In in more amateur hands, these would have just been caricatures, and they're not just characters. These these are fully fleshed out human beings. Everybody coming from a place of real believable rationales and everybody saying things that are in alignment with who they are. And they're not, these are not simple things that people are talking about. There's nuances of complexity. There's thoughts that people have that have to do with being selfless and caring about the truth, but at the same time being protective and wanting to get what they want. It's really, really yeah, well written. Really, really intriguing. Uh, the cinematography and it was the, the score very, very subtle. Very subtle. Because a lot of times I'd say more than 85% of the film is not scored. And when it is scored, it's just to give you a sense of something. Yeah. It's it's very subtle. The it, score is, is just all, done to give you a sense. This is all about dialogue. Yeah. The entire film is is all about dialogue. And in a very different way than, say, like the most prominent filmmaker in the world for dialogue in the recent years has been Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. But but Quentin will do lots of diatribes, lots of pontificating, lots of verbosity. This is not that. No, this is just like a fly in the wall. Yep, fly in the wall conversation. Someone says a couple sentences, the other person has a response, then the other person has a response, and the other person has a response. Some of them make you infuriated. Some yeah. Of them, um, yeah, there's so much going on. And apparently this is the director's first film. Shut up. He did one short film, at least on IMDb, that's what it's showing. He did a short film three years ago. And this is his first ever film. Ever done any other writing things? Writing, let's see. I, he didn't have any other credits. Look at that. Good grief. So, unless he's just not listed on IMDb. Not credited? And, yeah, yeah, whatever. It, you know, yeah, if this is pretty much a sophomoric or a, or a freshman Wow. And he won the obviously Indian Film Festival. That would be Angeles. that would be reason. That that in and of itself would be reason to see something this extremely good mm -hmm. at the at every level that is this good from somebody who this is either their first or second attempt at filmmaking. <laughs> that is extraordinary. And yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Um I don't know what else to say in terms of wow. um Non-spoiler stuff. Yeah. I will get into some spoils here, but just go watch the movie. It's watch very, it. Obviously, I'm sure it only is getting distribution in Kerala. I hope other Which places. Shame. But uh, if you can and you like this style of film of literally, I'm not even, I'm not even um, uh, kidding in the slightest, dialogue-driven films to the fullest. Uh, <laughs> you have to well, like that. If, and if you've seen our recent reviews, you may not have been around for a long time, but thankfully recently, if you've seen the reviews that we have done for Cothel the Core and Twelfth Fail, this is in – and Joram. This is all in the same wheelhouse, elevative, thespianatic, the kind of movies that we want to be in, that we yeah. want to show other people. This is this is the oh, top of the top. Except for the white people. They they still sucked. Always. Yeah. Uh, what <laughs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they just picked up a, a like a, a look like a tourist i'm telling you yeah but and we, we know, know they do that we, we know, know that. we know what happens especially when it's a smaller role that's the only flaw it, it saves them time it saves them money we i get it but man it hurts yeah it does um but anyways uh if you haven't seen it please go watch it and then come back we're gonna get into some spoils Spoils. more about the actual stuff yep. that happened in it i can't say anything the non-spoilers because there's just it's there's too, too much. complex of a of something going on but spoil, 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 spoil. Spoils oh, time. Right. Yeah, we got Spoil's it, don't we? Yeah, we do. Hold on. We have a spoiler warning. We just did it yesterday. Yeah, we did. Where is it? Oh. Get spoiled, bitch. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> when you hear that, we're going to talk about the film. because Get we want spoiled, bitch. You want the movie to tell the story. So this is for everyone who has yeah, yeah, seen yeah, yeah. the movie. movie. Yeah. Um, this, <laughs> it was, and I, I, I knew where it was going. Like, right off the bat. Like, not right off the bat, but, like, as it went on, I was like, okay, so there, something's going to happen, obviously, with, with her, right? And mm. when she gets groped. Mm. And I was like, this is Molly. I'm sorry. I think they're all going to believe her. They're, this is a tr uh, actors. They're usually very progressive people. And very like, progressive oh, and, believe, and truth matters to them. believe the woman. And I said, something's going to happen, though. <laughs> so, and right when he called, I was like, yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I guess the groping wasn't that bad. <laughs> I was like, 
like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, and then, obviously, it was, like, almost like a comedy of errors yeah. uh, as it went on. Uh, not really. Not comedy. I'm not, no, 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 no. It's not no, a no. comedy. But <laughs> almost something that they were going for of, like, this is going to be painful. Yeah. What you're going to watch, right? Now. This is going to be bad. <laughs> you're going to see a lot of things that are going to really upset you. <laughs> Because now they're trying to justify it and and all that, but uh, that, but then they made it so complex of like the added twist mm -hmm. of the prank, yeah, <laughs> that added a wonderful true reality because a lot of people in this situation, because this is very much a, a metaphor for anyone in these kinds of situations, and it's not just me too relevant. Yeah, yeah, it's relevant in a myriad of ways. Whenever anybody is in a situation where they know what the truth is, but then they're tempted. Yep to bend their moral compass for reasons that seem extraordinarily legitimate, not just for themselves, but for others. So the whole idea of the benefit that was going to come to the whole troop took it up to a completely different level now that really begins to show everybody, okay, how much do you really, are you willing to sacrifice everything for truth? Yeah. Or are you going to start to make some wiggle room now because there's a lot of money involved there's publicity involved. And if you don't think that you, if you think you would just be storming through that thing with truth, you don't know till you're in it what you're going to compromise or not compromise and who you're going to throw under the bus or not throw under the bus. Yeah. And I, uh, it, I like it because it made you question everything, even the, the one that, you, for the most part, you're like, support her, believe her, and, no, and then you're like, you didn't actually I, see him. The whole so you can't even if you don't like the guy. No, you can't just throw him under the bus the whole time. Yeah. My thought was, bring the guy in. Yeah, why don't we have them both sit down here? Why are we just assuming? Well, in that, everything it, she's saying is true. Well, and that I, I I understood for the most part for a while is because if he in fact did it. You don't want to bring the victim in with the other person. Obviously, that, that's no. Like, I didn't mean they had to be necessarily yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was, but it was just, very believable. Was be very believable in the way they did it. Yeah. And then uh, obviously a lot of them were supporting her, and then questioning. And then at certain times, that one guy was like, "It's what you're wearing." I'm like, "Go fuck yourself." Yeah, that God. was amazing and very true. Yeah, that people would bring very that up. believable. Um, it's just so many things, and they it kept going, and then it was another guy, and they're like, oh, it was? Because we were all like, oh, who is it now? Because they led you to believe that it was a couple different people throughout the thing. Yeah. They, they gave you little hints. And always gave you the skepticism of, did this really take place because of that Bluetooth connection thing that the guy heard? Yeah. Remember? I'm, I, I'm wondering if it was that guy. Because obviously, then they they went back to with the Bluetooth and his phone connected. Connected, right? And so he, my this is my theory. He was watching porn, or he grabbed it. They saw her grab, or was watching porn before. Got right, horny, got horny, or vice versa. Right, saw her, got horny, grabbed it, and then go to watch to to whack one off, basically. Right. Um. So I think it was him. I think that was the, that was the hint. Was, I did too. That it was him. I love that they didn't make they didn't it complete. I also really loved two things. I'm sure you love this too. I loved that at the very end, it brings us to the stage and we realize we've been watching a play the whole time. Yeah. And I loved, I said it out loud to the screen when he was going to take off his mask and he says, don't you want to know? I said, no. Yeah. Please say no. And a, a great, great writing. She said, no, because that's the point. Mm -hmm. The point is, it could have been any, any of single them. one of them because none of them cared actually. Yeah, well. when, at they're the all end the, of the same day, at the end of it. At the end of the day, every single one of them has a level of guilt associated with this thing because they didn't believe her. Yeah, um, but she also has a certain level of guilt as yeah. well. But I think everybody has a level of guilt in this. I think her biggest thing was the fact that not only didn't they believe her, but they didn't also try to investigate further right. of who was it. No. So if it wasn't him, it was one of us. It was somebody. She didn't just hallucinate somebody grabbing her. It was right. somebody here. Right. Someone did this. Who did this? But nobody cared. And, and I think that's why I led her to be like, it was, you're all the same now. Yeah. Um, it, it, it was probably all of you, basically. And they were really quick to condemn at first based on what they heard. 
And then the complexities start to come in, most especially the profitability of what's about to happen with this guy. And do we really want to throw him under the bus when we're about to become wealthy and famous doing our play? Yeah. It was a, it was a and I also thought, especially in the beginning, the play was shot very well. Like, yeah, it was, the, oh, I was like, oh, is this going to be the whole thing? This is going to be cool. I thought you put a lot of, <laughs> excuse me. It's hard to make a, a lot of your cool budget film. Yeah. into the, the play. Yeah. It's hard to make a play look cool on film, but they did it. Um, and so I, that was another aspect that I yeah. thought was really, really nice. And Me really, too. Really good. Um, yeah, I just thought the, all of the performances were spot on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Molly Ellum. I, I expect nothing less. I uh, loved her laughing moment. Yeah, and I loved his response to it. I was watching him, and I believed one hundred percent. He was shocked by her laughing. Didn't know why she was laughing. Uh. Just a great, believable moment. At that time, because he didn't know that it was a joke. Mm -hmm. the, the, it was right, a prank. right. And so he was still trying to go on the trip. Yeah. You know, we, we, we won't go without you. Why are you still thinking about going on? <laughs> Why is that preeminent in your mind right now? <laughs> and again, the complexity. So many different motives for so many different people to lie. Yeah. That you really didn't know what was going on and the way that things were unveiled. And then you realize that once someone has lied, well, where else are they lying? Because if they lied somewhere, they'll lie somewhere else. Because there was another moment that I just, when the phone came out, and she like, this, or the key or something. When the key, key or the picture? Yeah, the key. Yeah, the key. Two of them went outside and said, how did she get that key? And they didn't go further into that. And he's he like, if you're going to look at me, I'm going to look right, right back, right at, back you. at you. They didn't really go into that further, but that was another like, was it one of, was it one of them? Or maybe I missed something. Because um, I think they wanted you to think it could have been, well, it could have been any of them. It could have been the boyfriend. And at the end of the day, like a lot of these situations that come up, at the end of the day, a woman was groped. Yeah. And we still didn't get to the bottom of who did it and why and how to how to punish the person for doing it. Yep. Because all of this other stuff got in there. Yeah. So well written. Very well written. Um, heck of a lineup for Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Looking forward to next year's. Big time. This is our first year. And the three films that we saw, and I think those there might have been one other one. And at this time of the year to watch the films that we've been watching recently that are so good, in the process of watching all the other things that are contenders for SAGs and Oscars. So your mind is in that wheelhouse of, wow, I've just been watching great film after great film. Not always necessarily. There's some things that get nominated that don't shouldn't be in the process because yeah. it's political. Yeah. Anyway, these are the some of the best films in the world. Yeah, let us know what you thought about the film. Obviously, if you're here, you should have watched it already. Yeah. Uh, and what should be the next Malayalam film that we should watch? And what has he got in the hopper? Uh, nothing right now. It's nothing in pre-production or anything. Pre Good grief. Yeah. Let us know down below.